Good morning again, you all. How are you all? Hope you're having a good Easter morning. Um, I just wanted to show you really fast um, how I fix my ham. And what I have here, and I basically already rinsed it off. I always rinse off my meat. Always. Um, but what I have here is a ham shank. I have that piece that has that large bone in it. I'm gonna show it to you. See, that's a bone right through there. So that's the piece that I have. I'm gonna sit it over here in my pan and I'm gonna turn you towards the pan. Let me get a napkin. Turn you towards the pan and we'll just move down some here. There we go. And so what I do, first of all, I'm going to take and put some slits in this ham. Um, so when it bakes up, it'll be pretty. Now they say to bake it with this side down in the pan. I don't normally do that. I sit it in my pan just like this. Okay, but if you want to follow the instructions, you can. What I do, I take my knife and I just put some slits. And there are, they are about two, three inches apart. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm not going that deep. Okay, but deep enough so that when it cooks, you'll be able to see your slits. Okay, so I've taken my slits. I've worked my way down that way. And now we'll take my knife and go the other way. I'm just going to put a few of them in here. This will bake up beautiful. And one more here. This will be the upside of this. And like I said, they said to bake it with this down. I, I never do. Um, and it comes out fine. So now what I'm gonna do is I take and I put cloves in my ham. I just stick cloves wherever I can. And I'm gonna put some in these slits that I just made. And these are whole cloves. They look like that. Okay, this is part of the seasoning. And I just kind of take it and stick it in some of those areas where I made those slits. And I'll put as many as I can. Now this ham, it says, if you read the instructions, th this ham is almost nine pounds. So it it's already done. But if you're going to heat it up, and it takes a while to heat it up all the way through, um, it's 15 to 20 minutes per pound. I'm going to do the 15 mi minutes, and this ham will cook about 2 hours and 15 minutes. See, I just stuck them wherever I could. And I even put some on the front. Stick them into the fatty areas. Okay. Now we will take. Rinse my hands off. Good. Now we'll take, and I also use pineapple juice. I use the pineapple juice, and I use the pineapples. I should have had my um toothpicks. See if I can find my toothpicks. Here they are. I use toothpicks to help my pineapple stay on the ham. But I first take the ham juice. I'm sorry, not the ham juice, the pineapple juice. I told y'all I'm about to say anything out of my mouth and don't even realize it. Okay, that's pineapple juice. Put it all over the ham. Okay, and we're going to use some of these pineapples as well. But first, we're going to put some brown sugar on this ham. And if you don't want the ham sweet, 
You put your cloves on and, and leave it at that. This is the way I've always baked my ham. Just take and put a little brown sugar. And it might not all stay on the ham, but get as much on there as you can. Just, I just take and press it in. So to get down into those slits I put in here. And I should have turned it around to show you. And that's about enough right there. I'm making a mess, y'all. You know that. Okay. Let's put it everywhere you can. Okay. And you can see I have it here on the back. As much as I could get the stick on there. And then the last thing we do is we put our pineapples on. And I take toothpicks. Take a pineapple. And I have sliced pineapples. You can use any brand. Take a toothpick and stick that pineapple in and put one at the bottom as well hold that on there. I'm going to take and stick one right here. And I'll use three or four of these pineapples. It just helps to sweeten up the ham. And we'll put one more. And that's it. That's how I make my ham. Could put one more pineapple on there though. Right here in the front. Okay, we'll put one right there. How about that? That ham is ready to go into the oven. I'll cook it at three, actually it says 325. And I'll cook it at, at that temperature and I'll let it cook for two hours and 15 minutes. And the way I wrap it up, I just take a piece of aluminum foil, gently put it over the top um, to let it cook. And I won't take the aluminum foil off until it's done, okay? I'll see you when this ham is done. Bye-bye. Hi, good afternoon. Happy Easter again. I just wanted to really quick come and show you. I've taken my ham out of the oven. I left it in there for two hours, 45 minutes, maybe close to three. Um, I just wanted to show it to you. It's a beautiful ham. We're going to enjoy this. I cut a little piece off and it is juicy. It's moist and it's tender ham. So you all enjoy the rest of your Easter and I will see you later in the week. Bye-bye.